Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I just want to remind you, don't forget to update your Google Play target audience. So for those of us who release apps on Google Play, we have to remember that on the 1st of September is our deadline for updating our target audience. So back in May, Google Play said that they have this new feature called target audience or this new thing that we have to fill in. And we have until the 1st of September, which is two days from now to do. So there's this blog post here and it basically you have to go through it. Put your target audience, is it 18 plus, is it 16 to 17? Just go through, tick it off, go through, sign it. Kind of similar to what we were doing before with the content, like so we get the ratings and everything, but slightly different. Uh, and it basically has the three things. Is it targeted towards children? Is it targeted towards children and older audiences? Or is it t targeted mainly towards older audiences? Now, I have been dragging my feet on this. So like we got two days to do it and I only started doing it yesterday or a member of my team started doing it yesterday. And the reason I've been putting it off is because I had one client last month who released an application and they, they I told them I didn't want to fill that part in for them. Sometimes I'll do it for them. Sometimes it's like, it's too much on the legal side of things. So like, that's not a technical thing. Please go in and fill this in. I don't know who the target audience is. That's you guys as the marketers, as the owners of the application to do. So they went through and just said, everybody, tick, 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 right? Makes total sense. The app was rejected because their privacy policy didn't cater for everybody. So then they went through and changed the options and did it again, like 13 and above. And still they got rejected because their privacy policy wasn't good enough. And then they came to me asking me what they had to change to the privacy policy. And again, this was a bit more too much on the legal side of things. I'm like, there's loads of templates out there you can use for your privacy policy. Every single one of my apps has a privacy policy, but you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into the legalness of this. So in the end, because they were in a hurry, they just put it to 18 plus. So it was like a game, but it still said 18 plus, which was kind of weird. So because of that, because I didn't want to get the app, you know, I didn't want to go through and think about who are the target audience. I, can't, I mean, I have an idea. They're my applications, but like it's mainly it has to coincide with the privacy policy. Like, because if I say it, it targets you know young children, then I have to have the COPPA stuff in there, all that kind of stuff, and it's just it's such a, such a hassle. So sure enough, yesterday Julia on my team started going through and doing all of the applications, 13 and over. Right, I'm fine if they're not if people under 13 can't see them. I'm totally cool with that. Right, uh, and sure enough, we did get our first rejection through uh, status rejected. Your app has been rejected and wasn't published due to the privacy policy to a policy violation. If you submitted an update, the previous version of the app will still be available on Google Play. However, your app may be subject to removal if you do not resolve the issue outlined below by first, September 1st, 2019. So that's the downside. If you don't go through and update this and get everything sorted, the app could be removed, which is not as bad as the suspension, obviously. You can still go through and update it, but you might lose some revenue if the app is unavailable to your users. And the reason it said was it was inaccurate target audience. It said, we determined that the app store listing contains elements that appeal primarily to children. Uh, therefore, target age groups you've selected are inaccurate. For example, your store listing contains elements such as animated characters in the app icon, uh, young characters, multiple references to keywords related to children. So, sure, the app is called How I Met Santa. It's an interactive storybook. I suppose, yeah, I guess it is kind of targeted towards children, but uh, so we have to go through and make those changes. But so far, of the hundreds of apps that we've had, this is the only one that we've had rejected so far. However, I'm sure there's, there's going to be review processes and everything. And I think going forward, for a lot of us Android developers, this is just going to be a way of life. We have to make sure that our privacy policies are up to date. We have to make sure that we learn how COPPA works, which I, to be honest with you, being outside the US, I don't know very much about it, so I need to read up on all that stuff and get get up to, to grips with it but the reason for this video is just to remind you developers out there and app owners if you hire developers to go through and update your target audience because if you don't do it by september 1st which is two days from now the app could get removed so and let me know for the rest of you guys developers if, if you've gone through and done this have you had any snags with this any rejections any removals or anything so um, anyway that's it for today i'll talk to you guys again next time.